The University of North Florida is helping conduct research that, quite frankly, is out of mm -hmm. this world. They will be conducting experiments during the two solar eclipses that will take place in the next year. Right now, the research team is getting ready. Action News Jack's First Alert Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish got a first-hand look at how UNF is going to take advantage of a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The next 10 months will feature two solar eclipses and some local college students and professors will do some high-flying research in October and again in April. My target is to measure the ozone, how much ozone decrease from expected a normal range to during the solar eclipse and how much uh, bad ozone going to increase from the normal range to during the solar eclipse. Students are researching ways to make the balloon's sensors perform better at very high altitudes in what will be difficult conditions. So here's a diagram of the balloon that UNF will help launch. You can see there's the balloon itself, then you've got all the other information and data here and payloads, a parachute, radar reflector, telemetry unit. It all is laid out here on the table and it's going to be critical research during the eclipses. Essentially, this is a uh, supercharged Wi-Fi network, so it connects to the 360 camera unit here, and that's what's going to allow us to live stream the data. That's right. On the days of the eclipse launches, you'll be able to watch the data from the balloon in real time. And then inside this mold is going to be this little contraption right here. This is going to hold all of our sensors. Uh, and this will slide into the payload and it's going to allow us easier access to our sensors in case we need to make any sort of changes or whatnot. And right below the balloon. The venting system is up here and it keeps us at a steady altitude because normal balloons would just fly up and pop. But for the sake of w this project, everyone wants to be at, at a certain elevation. And that's all the way up at more than 80,000 feet or 15 miles, nearly three times higher than a jet flying across the U.S. Our target altitude is 85,000 to 120,000 feet. That is where we want to be for the gravity wave collection. Gravity waves sometimes play a critical role in our weather. These high altitude disturbances move above where most of our weather occurs in the troposphere, but can still help trigger thunderstorms far below where we live. All right, you, you touched on the question I had at the very end there. Yeah. What does this mean to all of us? Obviously, it's important. Yeah, it is important. It's, it's cool research, and uh, clearly when I was at UNF with those students. Basically, we just geeked out for a couple of hours. <laughs> There's uh, a shock. But I had to try to work some, too. And, um, but the gravity waves, yeah, they can have an impact right here at home. That's not something you really see in the atmosphere, of course. Gravity waves aren't visible, right. but they do result in something that's very tangible sometimes, and that storms right here where we walk around on Earth. That's number one. Number two, as the professor mentioned early on in the piece, they're also studying ozone levels and how that might change during an eclipse and how that might be related to ozone and pollution right here at home. This is really cool. How did they get to be a part of this? It's part of several universities across the country. They had to apply for this opportunity. They've done some other work with balloon re releases in the past to study the atmosphere. This is really cool. It's right yeah. here at home. And we have two eclipses coming up, you guys, in less than a month, uh, less than 12 months. You have October, the annular eclipse, which will be partial in Jacksonville. And then you have the big Great American Eclipse mm -hmm. in April, which will go from Texas all the way to New England. It's still only a partial in Jacksonville. But we have your glasses already. The first alert yes. eclipse glasses. And we have a lot of Was them. it like about four years ago we, did we had the 2017, yeah, six yeah. years ago. Crazy. It was. Yeah. And we'll find a way to get these to our viewers, but it'll probably be a little bit different than the way we did it in 2017. <laughs> but we are yeah. ready for it. And obviously, I am counting down the days I because know you, you know what happened in 2017. You was, and your kids you, yeah. geeked out. Yeah, where, we where, did. Where did you go for that? Was that South that Carolina? Was South Carolina. Yeah. This one, my plan is to go to Texas. I will not miss it. And my kids will be with me. So it's a family affair. Yeah. And once you've seen <laughs> one, Solar eclipse, total solar eclipse. You've seen them all? No. You will <laughs> never want to miss another one. Exactly. I'm kidding. And so I am. What has two thumbs and can't wait? <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Thanks, Mike.